An invasive bug from China destroying millions of dollars in trees and crops in the northeast part of the country. This thing is called the lanternfly. You can see it behind us. And they're starting to show up in states neighboring Arkansas. And that has a few people worried. Sarah Habakowitz caught up with one group on the hunt in Arkansas. If it is here, how did it get here? Paul Shell works for the Arkansas Department of Agriculture. He spends a lot of time searching for what most of us try to avoid bugs. Let's look. Let's look at all these. He spent Wednesday following up a tip that someone saw a spotted lantern fly, an invasive species from China wreaking havoc in the northeast and spreading across the country. You'll see the definite spots if the wings were open you would see a very bright red portion of the lower wings. An unchecked population of both the fly and the invasive tree it lives on can destroy millions of dollars in agriculture. Because these invasive, whether it's a, a bug or a plant, they actually can replace the native things that are living in the area. And it's not just a coincidence that we're searching in Walnut Valley, ground zero for the March tornado. The Department of Agriculture says with all the debris flying around, construction and help coming in from other states, the bug could have hitched a ride from anywhere. That's the reason this pest is so threatening is they move on all kinds of things. It could be laid on a truck or a rail car. That's why searches like this one are crucial. So if you see the fly as an adult or before it even hatches, report it. Well, we want to know if and when we get them so that maybe we could have some impact, at least on the initial introduction. As for Shell, he's hoping the bug stays away, but he's prepared for a visit. I figure we're going to get them at some point. They spread so quickly in the last nine years that it's probably just a matter of time. That was Sarah Habakowitz reporting now. Just in case you missed it, here's another look at that photo. If you think you see one of these lantern flies or their eggs, Department of Ag says you can give them a call, and the photos, of course, always help.